SANDAG IS FACING SOME NEW CHALLENGES RELATED TO ITS $163 BILLION, 83, EXCUSE ME, BILLION DOLLAR REGIONAL TRANSPORTATION PLAN. HERE TO EXPLAIN, DELMAR CITY COUNCIL MEMBER AND SANDAG BOARD MEMBER, TERRY GASTELIN. TERRY. Jason, good to see you this good morning. Good to see you. I love getting these SANDAG updates because there's so much happening and there's so many changes. Well, why is it important? We're all using our roads every day to get to where we need to go. Right. Yesterday, two things happened. We launched a search for a new CEO and we eliminated the regional road use charge from the 2021 plan. 2021 plan goes to 2030, no road use charge. Okay. Why is that important? It's important because we're electric vehicles. We're getting more and more of them. We have mandates. We have to have more. What does that mean? Less gas tax. What does that mean? We need more revenues. But the people of the San Diego area have spoken loud and clear. Don't charge us for the miles that we drive in our cars. We have to get our kids to school. We have to get to work. The road use charge was regressive and it was really bad for people who work, who need to get to their work, and need to move around our region. And by the numbers, the, at last check, it was 97% of San Diegans are in their cars and trucks and yes. on the roads, and 3% are using mass transit. Yeah. One of the things I've called for at Sandag is let's map out our, our transportation deserts, the places where people live or work where you can't get there with public transportation. It's most of the region. Yes. That means we need to start really rethinking and taking these lessons learned what people have been telling us about regional use of the roads. We need to think about, is there a small piece of bus line or trolley that will make it possible for people to park and ride? Imagine a park and ride at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. Yes. I mean, the, the, I'm, I make no bones about it. I'm a Green Line trolley guy. I love the Green Line. Yeah. And, but it's just not pragmatic for the, for the whole county. It, well, we when, are what we are. Yeah, when the trolley gets you, where do you want to go? You want to go to the Petco baseball game, and you really don't want to park in a big gigantic parking lot and take two hours to get out of there. Or Little Italy or yeah. Old Town. Yeah. Then it makes sense. You get on the trolley and you go, but you're going to drive to that trolley. Yeah. That's a problem. Well, there, for a while, the thing with the road tax was we were hearing that, well, they've done away with the road tax, but it was still in, in writing, wasn't it? It was still in the plan. This has eliminated it from the plan. We still have a problem, though. We need to be vigilant. Here in the San Diego region, we have set an example for the state. We have said local road use charge doesn't work. And what we do know is that the state is piloting still road use charge at the state level to replace the gas tax. That will continue. So we need to be very careful here locally not to have that road use charge come back. Okay, so how is the search going for a new head of SANDAG? We're going to have a new head of SANDAG by July of 2024. The interviews are going to be in March. Applications, if you want to apply, you're welcome to try for the job. <laughs> we really need some creative thinking. Yeah. January, February for applications to come in. And on December 12th, I think it is, we're going to be deciding on a new interim CEO for SANDAG. Okay. And so you, by next summer, we'll have a CEO. Now, how is it, how is it going to affect the board and, uh, and the meetings and all of that when there is no head until then? Because akrata has gone at the end of the year, right? Um, through, through October. We have two really good deputy executive directors. One's a data scientist. One is a person who's just thought about planning all her life, rail, you know, traffic planning. And the, the two of them are really quite good at keeping everything going that needs to be kept going. What we're looking at in the new CEO and at things like eliminating local road use charge is vision for the region. You know, for example, when the highway gets congested, Highway I-5 going to Carlsbad, which it does pretty much every day from about 2 o'clock to about 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. the, the traffic in Del Mar on Highway 101 and then through Solana Beach gets backed up and congested. This kind of traffic just needs to um, 
we need to think about it. We need to address it. We need to think about how do we get from point A to point B five miles in five minutes, not in one hour. Mm -hmm. That's the real challenge facing our region. Yeah, I, mean, I talked. Jim Desmond always brings up the same thing, and I think it's a great argument. We don't need to look back to the few, back to the past for rail. We need to look forward because of technology, autonomous right, cars, and right. pretty soon cars will be so smart that they well, know when to stop and when to go. And a, a wonderful example is that 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 photo that just showed up. That's in the middle of Del Mar on a late afternoon. And what do we see? We saw cars all backed up. We see stop signs. Yep. We see cars getting further and further behind as they're going through the city. We need new technologies. We need stop signs that turn yellow and say, you know what, let's get some of these cars through. We need traffic lights that are sensitive and say, there's nobody going across, right. let's get the cars through. Mm -hmm. This is what our region really needs, better technology, a vision for all of us, get us from point A to point B in five minutes, not an hour. Did you take that picture? I did. Okay, yeah. well, you're a good photographer. I'm from my bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry Gastelum, great to talk to you. Thank you thanks so for much, Thanks for the update. Absolutely. More to come.